Good morning, all. Uh, special today, the object is uh, special tray and material types of the special tray is a device that used to carry and confirm a controlling the impression material while making the final impressions. Of course, I say to you, a final tray or a special tray you fabricated according to each patient. From this point of view, you should be checking our why I'm not used the custom or uh, uh, ready-made tray because you're not fit to these patients. And now you are ready to take the final impressions after you make a special tray for these patients. And you sure that all the material that you take it with this final tray, you will apply the same pressure on your patients. And the final registrations with the same forces with all anatomical structures. By this way, and of course, I am follow the physical and chemical what properties of your materials. Because if I use these materials that I use it for final impressions, I am not cannot be carried out through the normal trick because the thickness of this material will be different from side to side and not all the anatomical light mark will be registered. From this point of view, I should be know the material used, of course, how I make the borders of it and the handles and what is the anatomical light mark, I should be removed or relieved and uh, what is that should be covered with this special trace? From this point, the fabrications, first a tray outlines. Of course, the tray outline will be different from maxillary and the mandibles. The maxillary have post dam, if you remember, at the end of the tray, and you do it all the hard pellet and not of the soft pellets. And of course, do not forget, you should be passed to be sure you've taken all the details, especially on the posterior area of this impression material. And of course, I am sure should be the borders of it not pushing the vestibule by force and make a trauma or wash up of the material because the material of final impression is more flowability than the primary impressions. From this point, if you have any pressure area that you not need it, that made of or you allow the material or your final tray or final impressions will be what washing up. This way, you cannot resist the ideal details of the sulcus or the anatomical landmark that you're planning to do it. From this point, the tray outline, to make a tray outline, you must be know how the interrupt to the anatomical landmark on the primary cast obtained from the preliminary pressures. Maxillary cast. Now, if I see the cast of mine in the pictures, I can see the lines, the black lines, and I can see some red areas. The red area, what is that? This that undercut. The undercut, I should be relieved by wax. I close it. Why? Because if I make it with a special tray and enter to these intercuts, I cannot remove it from the cast. And if I can remove it from the cast, what I do, I, when I insert it in the patient mouth, this area will be what touching to the bone or residual ridge and allow the material of final tray to go out. Finally, maybe I cannot remove it if I am not blocked out. So I will block, okay, or relieve as, that, as you can, you know, and by the wax and I can draw the borders of my tray because in the primary cast that I get it have many extensions that I'm not needed. From this point, nowadays you can draw by a special pin or 
copia o normally we need name copia pen you can draw with the wet and with the any surfaces that you like it by this way by this way don't forget the hamular notch especially in the maxilla and two millim distal to the phobia palatinus by this way i'm a draw a line outlining the mucobuccal folds at the point where the buccal reflection relieves the lateral wall of alveolar ridge. From this way, when I fabricated my, or I bring the cold cures to make this special tray, I can directly see them lie lines, and then I cut it before I go to trim it by the what engine. Because if I cut it from now, I decrease my work in the futures. And of course, I should be, don't forget, if I return back to the first picture that you have, you can see the relief of what? Uh, the extensions of anatomical landmarks. Here, what is that? Labial frenum and buccal to buccal frenum from both sides. Do not forget to relieve this anatomical landmarks. If I go to the mandible with the same way that I need it, with the same, the way that I'm a planet, with the, what, maxillary cast, I can do it with the mandibular cast. With the same pencils, I can go distal to retromolar pad, continue to the buccals in the inferior and anterior directions, following the masseter's grooves to the beginning of external oblique ridge. Look, sometimes the ridge is like this, is it become a flat. Due to the time after extractions, we what resorptions of the ridge lead to this ridge become a flat. Okay? So this oblique uh, external oblique ridge is become a clear for you more than the in the previous case. From this point, the extensions of my uh, tray should be perfect in this area. Otherwise, I registered anatomical area I am not needed. And of course, maybe you feel if you more extension, you get more retention. No, because if this area have attachment of the muscles, will be affect on my denture stability. The progressing of the posterior follow the oblique ridge to the buccal frenum attachments, carry out the outline above the frenum attachment and the end of the buccal frenum. Always the spaces of labial frenum attachments should be what's removed. Of course, I should be make these frenums of all types of frenum, not just the labial, the buccal ones too, should be make it as a free in the maxilla and the mandibles. On the lingual sides, do not forget it, have the line inferior from distal aspect of retromolar part to the lingual traversities. From lingual traversities, the extended align anterior and inferior to the mylohyloid ridge. Take care. If you have extensions of this special tray, and I say it, the attachment of the muscles of you should be take care about it. And some anatomical or sharpness of the bones should be you take care too. Because if you reject it and then make the bridge, not only affect on the stability, but also what? Make a trauma to these extensions of the bones. And when you have a trauma during the patient to press on the denture, have a pain, have a trauma, maybe injury to the soft tissues and maybe the patient reject to use your uh, dentures. From this way, from Noahelid Ridge, and uh, two to three millim opposite uh, to the caspid uh, eminences. Marks outline similar on the other side, join the two lines, anterior by follow sublingual mucous membranes. Look, you can draw it by the lines without explanations or without this. But this explanation is for you to show you how this extensions of the lines according to the book and how the direction of each 
uh, line should be extended to. I said to minimizing your job, you should be take the anatomical landmarks that you get benefit from it and you go out from the landmark that you not like it. And you deciding according to the extensions because some of the bones extensions or frenum sometimes his low downs no frenum attachments is more or more prominence attachments you should be you deciding how much you should be clear or how much you should be extend so the differences from patient to patient should be take care and how you working with this special trace after this impressions no way to register it more, okay? No way to make add of your denture according to your uh, mind or you, uh, I am remember this patient have this extensions. So I extended the denture by adding the acrylics uh, by my mind. No, because this is gaps, this is retentions, this is, you should be take care about the health, oral hygiene of the patients. From this point, I should be go to see how I fabricate it. Okay, go to the methods. Of course, the type of the material, which type is normally called the cure. Okay, the cold cure material, I can, depending on it, in some of the appliances, like the, for example, special tray, I can make some partial dentures, okay? I can use it for fabricating orthodontics removable appliances. So what the depending, why it's the name coming from cold, why it's coming from hot, hot cure. The cold cure is coming because the curings of this material, the settings, the action or reactions of the particle of this between the monomer and the polymer is a without any additional kits. The cold cure, just you mixed, you see it's starting to uh, making a settings and you have five stages of cold cure. When you put it on the cast, you just press on it, the rubber stage you return back. The material that use it, cold cure. So what is the difference between cold and hot, you know? Actions, the one who needing heat to be at or will be settings, the another no needed, okay? This is what, okay. The dynamic normally, normally you cannot use it too much because the pressure you cannot control it. Or your hand, yes. and sometimes the mucostatics allow the patient, no, look, the, the, the dynamic the dynamic <coughs> ones is almost the patients have some, um, sometime have a partial, partial uh, not only a complete denture, one single denture. And the another uh, arch have a teeth. So sometimes because the patient not full confidence with that, you put it your hands inside the mouth or you trying to put the pressure of the teeth, the opposings on the same way on the upper way. Some muscles have a pressure smores, maybe have a proxism, maybe have another action problems of the muscles, relaxations of the muscles. You cannot depending on most of you, most of us now using the mucostatics <coughs> well. I said every every technique is not have perfect techniques, right? No have perfect techniques. Techniques have advantage and disadvantage normally. But look, don't forget, after inshallah arrangement of the teeth and your final denture, you have the distributions of the forces on during the occlusion should be on the same way. And don't forget these forces will be distributed not just for the upper. For the upper and the lower dentures, normally if you make it uh, yani the two dentures. <laughs> and the pressure on posterior and the tear are the same. So the displacement in this way will become the same. Look, and no perfect way. If you have perfect way, I say it for you, cancel all the other techniques and in the book, just writing the perfect one. But I can say to you, this technique have less disadvantages than another techniques. For example, the benefit or the advantages of all of it is more than disadvantages. From, from this point, it uses too much. During, during the mixings of the cold cures, what is the problems during the mixings? The evaporations of the monomers, liquids. For this point, during the mixings, you should be put a, a jar on the jar and close these jars until reaching the duffy stage, and then trying to put adaptations to uh, fabricate this special tray. You have another way, 
this is why the sprinkled uh, methods, this method normally used outside and especially in some universities in America until now, and some of the labs also use it, but I'm not like it. This technique is almost the mixings of the cold cures and uh, the cold ammonium and the polymer on the same cast. After I'm drawing, look the technique, how is it? After I'm drawing on the cast, now I put a, a powder on the part of these uh, lines or the area that I should be covered with the uh, special tray. I put it as uh, powders and then I bring with either drops of the eye drops, this uh, drop by drop or by normal syringe <coughs> and using the liquids or I put the liquids on these powders. And then I mix it by my hands or by a spatula, small spatula, until have a uniform thickness. After that, I add a powder and I put a liquid on it until I finalizing the shape of a special tray. What I mean, the mixings in the same area of the cast on the final cast. Take care, all these methods of fabrication should be you have two problems. One, removing of undercuts, you should be closed, block out by the wax. One, separating medium. The separating medium should be, have a special separating medium. And this material is when you put it on the uh, cast, it's a glossary. After a time, you can, uh, waiting until loss of the glossary of it is too thin. And according to the thickening of the material, if you like to be, uh, make a uniform distance from the soft and the hard pellet that you like it or the area that you fabricated, I can put two way or can I use two material? One, I can sheet of the wax, small sheets of the wax and with the same and uniform thickness on the cast as a work as two points. One, as separating medium seconds is working as make the distance of the cold cure or the tray with the specific distance from the your cast. And you can use it in outside using not of the wax, his uh, material from the asbestos is not burnings or washings or affectings by the heat or the cold or the mixings and make it by this way on the same distance from the, to be sure, the distance from the uh, cast. I make not make it intimate contact because the intimate contact to this uh, cast will be wash up my material. I needed to adjust the weakening areas. By this way, I have two options. During the mixings, either I use my duff stage or I use this sprinkle methods, mixing on the cast and I should be block out my undercuts. I should be prefer or put some things to make a distance from the special address. Sometime because a deficiency of the material may be in the lab too that you fabricated, you make it a special tray directly on your what on the cast. So go to see what you have on this material. After making an outline on the cast, block out severe undercuts with the wax and adapted layer of the base plates wax to a cast for relief. You see, the wax. Apply separating mediums on the stones cast and to cover the relieving wax. Sprinkle polymer, uh, polymer powders on the cast and relieving the wax uh, saturated with the liquid monomer from the eye drops or can using a syringe, normally using a syringe. And, uh, and you can make drops of the material or monomers easily until uniform layer of approximate two millim thickness is obtained. Avoid excess reasons, build up the palatal regions of maxillary cast on a muco uh, buccal fold area and uh, mandibular cast. Cure the tray under the invasive plasters pole and reducing the porosities. Look, the porosity, why it happens? What's meaning porosity first? Why it happens? The first, the porosities is meaning the air bubbles interrupted in your works. So what I have when I removing my cold cures reasons, I see some holes 
not reaching with these materials. These are what's porous. The porous, why it happens normally? Because the ratio of mixings will be changed. Why? Because I, have, I normally, I have a special ratio for the cold liqueurs. And from company to company, sometimes have simple difference. So I can read the instructions of usings or mixings of these materials with the, what leaflets that are available and see the percentage of liquids to the powders. But the problem where the vibration of the material during the vibrations of these materials of the monomers, the ratio will be changed. During this change, some of physical properties of this material will be changed too. From this one, the air bubbles enters to these areas and make these porosities. Okay, so mixed more reasons than the duff stage with from the handle. I will show you now the, how much the distance of the handles adapted then to be impression tray. After settings of reasons, remove the trays and the trims, of course, with the bear and do necessary corrections. And if you make it from the first stage perfect, the correction will be to minimum or do not working too much. If I see now this tray with the cast, I see the handle. For me, I have a problem with these handles. These handles, I put in these pictures because it's short. The handle is short, not shorting from the length out of the mouth, but the height. The height, almost when you put it this impression, don't forget you, this patient, no have teeth. So what you lost, lost the vertical of the bridge. So what you have, the lip, do not interfere with the lip. So when I have the special tray, should be I have a liquid height from to prevent the interfere of the special tray with what? With my patient lip. Otherwise, during the insertions, during the insertions, the lip will be pushing my hands away from the what? Away from the arch or from the ridge. So I should be pressed on it to overcome the problem of the what's muscles forces. I make it when the specific heights is nice, not interfere with anything. So if you have anything, have a long lips, strong muscles, okay? And anything so here, I'm not interfering with mine. From this one, the finger adaptation of a stage that you use it on your techniques. I think you, after you make it with the duff stage before, uh, normal used a special uh, handles or sticks, okay, like the maker of baklava, you know. And after you reaching the duff stage, I can put it on any clean uh, surfaces, and then I make it like a nan hubs, okay, a braid. And after that, you can put it on the cast on the uniform thickness. And then adaptation, my adaptation with my fingers to all the borders and touching all the lining of the cast. Look, I can use a monomer, okay, uh, for adaptation if I use my fingers or I using the uh, spatula or using anywhere, any material that uses, I can use the monomer for adaptations to delay my settings times. By this way, also the access of material I removing after uh, mixings, take care about the duff stage and uniform thickness. This is will be make the special tray light in for light in weights and easy to handling, not interfere with any anatomic structure. Sometimes I make it thick. It's not affect to my work if the uh, the relief of the material in nice way, but keep it in your minds the thickening of the material make it loss of the material first material of cold occurs. Second, make it uh, heavy. Third, interfere, maybe buckle. No have bone, the muscles attached, is too much close to the bones. So no have too much thickness of the or special trace that you go away from that walk. From this point of view, I can see the mixing with another techniques like the vacuum adapted methods, I can use it too. These methods of the vacuums is using to decrease the porosity that interfere with your tray. I said the mixings of the way with the duff stage, you have sometimes the ratio between the monomer and the polymer 
will be different because the vibrations of your monomers. By the way, do not forget the monomer and the polymer. How is it? Usually the polymer is many particles. Poly is coming from meaning of money, many of the particles. The monomer is consist of one types of the particles. The anatomical set or the chemical structures is more complex, so I'm not give it to you. The vacuum adapted methods he is using nowadays, sometime in some labs, to decreasing the porous that incubated inside your mixing swig. By this way, you know the porous, if you have it during the mixings, you have a deficiency of the material that you touch it and interfere with your quality of your impressions. The vacuum adapted methods after making a tray outlines and block the undercuts, okay, the same way you see, either you can put a wax or a sheet of non asbestosis casting strings uh, lining the material, and you can see it in some of your tubes that you have it. This material, no mills affecting on heads, that's you, I say it because it's uh, uh, against these uh, or thermoplastics reasons. Uh, or the change it during the heat. The center of the cast on the vacuum adapted the plates and sheets of the approximated size thickness in the heating frames. Rotate the heatings until into positions of continual heatings until a specific sag in a material occurs. Look, these strings will be allow not just the vacuums is affecting on it, but also he is making rotations of the cars to be reaching all the vacuums affecting in all the directions. Nowadays, here I think is not available using the Duffy stage. This is technique that uses. And after that, the same, you remove it, remove the excess, and also the handles of the cold cures is uh, you can form make it, of course, to finally you can removing of your uh, track. Look, the handle, the adaptation of the handles normally before the final settings is better than make it during or after settings. I mean, what I mean, if you're setting the material of the base and then you try to make the handles, take care, no have union, no have bonds of these are called the cures. But if you, during the adaptation, I finish it, then I make it directly the handles. Until now, you have some reason not to cure or not set yet. By this way, when I bring the handles, uh, called the cure on the material of the handles, I can make an union, a strong union of it. But otherwise, if the settings and, for example, the mixing is not enough for you need to mixing again, take care, make mechanical retentions and to allow the cold cure, the another material will be entered through, okay? From this point of view, if you enter through this uh, roughness or mechanical retentions, I get retention of my handles. Otherwise, no have union, no have bonds, no have, other. if you the fully cured of the resin here, another cold cure added on it, it's difficult to be get a full union, make mechanical retentions. Add a handles from the cold cure reasons or from the preformed metal handles and the, and the store uh, the tray on the cast until who get units. This is one of the point that you like it. You should be put it on your uh, what you mean. I mean, if you use it, okay, and put it on the cast. Do not put it out because maybe you have some dimension change or have uh, problems. Uh, leave it for the hot water, so hot weather or somewhat have the problems, put it on the cast, better have, even if you have 0, 0.00 from points, uh, it's better to put it on the, what's, he put it on the cast to be sure that no have dimensional change. If I look to, to it, you can adding some points on the lower arch, you see the lower arch, I can be adding some extensions to be put my finger on it, to be equalizing the pressures, not only just on the anterior region, because the lower, if I see it, is too low, and my finger sometimes not interfere, or I cannot reaching a full depth of the mouth, for example, or maybe the tongue is trying to push me up, or in one direction, or muscles, or patient trying to swelling of like this. So I can put some extensions to the lower arch, and can by this way, 
I can equalizing the pressures and easy to be take the final impression on it. The upper one is no problems. It's normal because have a wide area who now have uh, something smooth like the tongues, so not interfere with my job. Uh, she like methods, she like base is some of the other ways is almost uses um, sometime. Uh, the she like, I think you make it or uh, you have a sheets of she like base is normally is a plastic like thermoplastic material. I can adapt it. I put it on the cast and by heat, I can adapt it to make the tray. Once the tray outline is made on the cast, block out the undercuts on the cast with the plasters. Uh, adapted a layer of weight, none as process, the same, the casting, string, shrinking the material on the cast for relief. Make a shellac proper thickness for adaptation is to be intimate contact with the cast and relieving material. Make a handles from shellac material and adapted on the tray, removing the tray from the cast and trimming the axis. The shellac base, I think you use it, you have a sheet of it, it's thermoplastics again, and I can, it's uniform thickness, is almost when coming. When I put it on the cast, I with the heatings, either by benzene burners or by the fair that's using for the hairs, sometimes I use it for more heating, but the heating of it should be make it uniform thickness. Okay, by this heat, the softening of material will get it and then you adapt it by either your spatula or your fingers as you like, take care from the heat. And then when you have any hard areas or uh, cold these materials, you should be hitting again and then will be adapted again until you're reaching the uh, final shape or your tray. By this way, you no, don't forget the handles with the same materials. I can be adapted on it and can be attached on it. And if I go to tray handles, I can see have some dimensions. This is the suggestions of the others. This dimensions of the trace is approximated. The thickness is three to four millimeters, the length eight, the height eight. By this way, I'm sure the, the handle become thick, is become hard, not the fractures, because sometimes the retention that you get it by special final impressions will be what affecting the stability of these handles. Uh, maybe fracture, maybe dislodged. Why I say to you, you should be sure the Acrylic is not full sets, okay? And you should be making the handle directly because to be sure the good pointings between the handles and the base. Otherwise, if you make it or with the weak uh, bones, maybe displ displacement of these hands handles and loss of your retentions and then how you can removing of your uh, base, okay? The base of a tray, where how can you remove it? And if you're trying to remove it by your finger, maybe you'll destroy some of the special final impressions materials or the borders, so take care about it. By these handles, I can assure for you that a good height, a good length, okay, a good strong, and I make it bonds good well, so I can remove it even the uh, impressions as uh, good retentions or have a force and unique removing and so on. Uh, uh, place the horizontal grooves across the facial and lingual surfaces, of course, of the handle to improving the grip. If you have make it too smooth, don't make it too smooth, okay? Because maybe slipped because your hand with the saliva, with the materials, so you can make some horizontal grooves for uh, frictions to not slipping of your fingers during the removing or the handles of this special thread. By this way, I'm sure you get a final, good final trace. And if you have good final, good carrier of the final materials, you get finally a nice work. And now I can see here the handles of the special trace. Look here, it's two shorts, and I put it two shapes of, uh, this is too short, the height short, for me short, and interfere clinically, interfere with the lips of the patients. And the length of it horizontally is good normally because the height is not good. So what it did during the insertion will interfere with the lips, not allow a full adaptations of this tray to uh, uh, adapt it to the cast or adapt it to the 
uh, your uh, patients. The evaluation and corrections, the maxillary special tray, the buccal and the lingual flange should be two millimeters shorter than the tissue reflections. This is the first, the move cheeks, and the lips to observe the clearance of the frenums and the tray should be con uh, contain, of course, the hamular notch extended two millimeters posterior to the vibrating slides. If the tray is displaced when the patient open his mouth widely, then there is over extensions in the hamular notch regions. Look, I am, how can I check my tray? Look, the clinical view. I put the tray on the patient mouth before I load it to any material. I try, I see the frenum first. Frenums is okay, clear. The insertion is easy. Patient no feel any pain. No interfere with any undercuts. No sharp edges, okay? No sharp edge. And then after I insertion in the patient mouth, I reflect, I push, I hold this lips and the cheek and then I make the movement down, the upper down, the lower up. And then I ask the patient to moving the tongue forward and up and forward to go out of the mouth. And then I see the stability of my what tray. If have any force or displacements, it's meaning you're making over extensions. Take care. If I put my tray up and then I reflecting the cheeks and the lips, I see it is what is have a more extensions, over extensions of the flange of my special tray. By this way, it's interfered with my final impressions. After that, the tray, the handles, the length have no smoothness of the hands. The borders is shorter than two millimeters, but Posterior should be extended well. Ask the patient to move the tongues down and the lip and the cheeks. No interference, good extensions. Now your tray is ready to use. Okay? So don't forget why you not make it from the autocures because the autocures have also advantage and disadvantage. One of the disadvantage is expensive. And this special tray is make it just for carrying this material. It's not interfering with any oral cavities or the any things or health of the patient or toxicity. So it's used with cheap, of course, so I can use it for a special a tray. And it just is using for the first times and nothing small, not using more than this one. So just for carrying the final impressions. Now you finished your uh, tray and if you need any ask any questions i'm ready for you